Hi! Today we will take a look at the most reliable VPN. I spent a long time choosing a good option for myself. And finally, based on the collected data and my thoughts, I discovered the best option that suited me perfectly. I have been working with this service for a long time. In this short video, I will tell you 5 effective life hacks that few people know about, but which are really best in the best VPN category. I'm talking about IVC VPN. Be careful, now I will show you everything. IVC is a Singaporean VPN that, according to its website, is the award-winning best VPN that offers pretty much every feature you might need with little to no money. The server's page on the website claims to offer, for example, over 1,000 servers in over 100 locations in over 50 countries. Only 766 servers are listed in the table under this heading. The wide range of apps includes downloads for Windows, Mac, Android and iOS, as well as Chrome, Edge and Firefox extensions, as well as instructions for manually setting up the service on routers, Kodi, Linux, consoles and more. IVC supports torrents, has malware blocking, no logging, the service supports up to 5 concurrent connections and also has an emergency switch to protect your privacy in the event of a disconnect. Protocol supports spans L2TP, OpenVPN and IKE version 2. Split tunneling lets you choose what traffic you route through the VPN tunnel and the list of features continues. If the service isn't working as it should, 24-7 support via email, TCAT and live chat is always on hand to point you in the right direction. Prices are generally low. The monthly bill is $9.95, but on an annual plan, it will drop to $3.50 and a 5-year subscription costs down to a ridiculously cheap $1.16 a month. You get 5-year coverage with a prepayment of $69.99. If you've only been using IVC for a couple of years, it will still look very profitable. Additional services include dedicated US, UK, Australia, Canada, Germany, Hong Kong, Singapore IP addresses at a very reasonable $1.99 per month and port forwarding support for $1 per month. There is support for multiple payment methods, including cards, PayPal, Alipay, Payment Wall, Perfect Money, and Bitcoin via BitPay. If you are tempted, there is other good news. The trial gives you 7 days to test the service for just 99 cents, enough time to get a good feel for Ivish's abilities. However, be careful, the 7 day trial automatically renews as an annual one unless you cancel. Luckily, even if you sign up and regret it, you are additionally protected by a 30-day money-back guarantee. IVC has an excellent privacy policy that details everything it records and everything it doesn't record is detailed in fresh detail. Here's the key paragraph. We do not strictly record or track internet activity, connection logs, assigned VPN IPs, source IPs, browsing history, outgoing traffic, connection times, data you access, or DNS queries generated from your sites. We do not have information that could link certain actions to specific users. If you've ever spent ages researching the fine print and VPN support site for clues about its privacy policy, you'll appreciate how rare it is to get that much information squeezed into a couple of sentences. Further, the policy details the personal data that IVC collects this name, email address, payment methods and other collection methods are application crash reports and diagnostics, Google Analytics on the website. It's not perfect, but better than many competitors and it was nice to see that IVC also allows you to request the deletion of your personal information through its website's personal area. IVC offers not only a Windows app, but also Mac, Android and iOS clients and browser extensions. Signing up with IVC worked just like any other VPN. I selected a plan and payment method, the cash was transferred, IVC sent a welcome email with a link to set a password, and the website had links to many of IVC's apps. I downloaded and installed the Windows client, and it was ready to go in a few seconds. The client interface 
is similar to many other VPN apps. There is a large button on the home screen that automatically connects you to the nearest server, or you can choose your location from the list. This list may appear as countries or cities, but it does not include Bing or load times, search boxes, filters, or sorting options to help you make the best choice. However, the app has at least a favorite system that allows you to group the most frequently used options. The left toolbar helps you select servers for specific tasks. For example, click Streaming and you'll be able to select the platforms you want to unblock and watch Amazon Prime Video, BBC, Hulu, Netflix, and many more. Other options include Unblock to help you access geoblocked sites and Secure Boot, where the service appears to scan downloads for viruses or malware and remove them at the server level. The website's page on the feature states that it scans and removes such viruses and malicious files before they even get to your device. It sounds like it is checking the contents of the file you download, but our tests show that it is probably using a simple DNS blacklist to block dangerous URLs. The settings allow you to choose your preferred launch mode, such as opening with a streaming page. There is a protocol switch, split tunneling, kill switch, and multi-port setup that allows you to scan for open ports to help bypass VPN blocking. Desktop clients usually offer many more features than their mobile counterparts, but the IVC Android app is surprisingly capable with the same connection modes. List of connections displayed by country, city, emergency switch, split tunneling, and multi-port mode. The settings are a bit simpler and, in particular, it only supports the open VPN protocol, but otherwise it is a decent app, easy to use, but with the reasonable feature set. A similar story with an iOS app, which, apart from lacking a failover switch and using IKE version 2 instead of open VPN, is very closely aligned with other AVC offerings. If there is a problem here, it is obviously the slow pace of software development. The IVC apps haven't added any significant new features for a while, and if you are hoping for major improvements like WireGuard support that suggests you might want to wait a while, the client retains your currently selected location when switching between modes. For example, connect automatically and the client will display the selected country. And when you minimize the app, it defaults to the taskbar as you'd expect. However, the automatic selection of the client's location may not meet your expectations. The client's status display is still below par. It did not always show the location when streaming, for example, by simply displaying it as anonymous. It also failed to display our new IP address, reporting only the hidden IP address. And we couldn't switch from one place to another or even view another list until we closed the current location. The client did a good job of setting up the VPN tunnel securely. It configured IKE version 2 connections with IP version 6 disabled with mandatory encryption and did not store credentials locally. It configured OpenVPN with AES-256 CBC encryption and the kill switch was enabled by default. The only oddity I've noticed is that while the client offers L2TP as the protocol, choosing it has only ever given an IKE version 2 connection. If you really need L2TP, you can spend a fair amount of time here before realizing what's going on. On reconnection, the client switches protocols from OpenVPN to IKE version 2 or from IKE version 2 to OpenVPN. There could be some excuse for this. It could be that the crash was due to some system-wide issue with the current protocol, so a switch might give better results. But this is not what the user expects, and the client does not display the new protocol to show you what he did, so this can cause problems. And secondly, when I simulated a more fundamental problem by turning my router off and on again, the client said it reconnected, but the internet access remained blocked. It was easy to restore, just turn the connection off and on again, but it could still cause confusion. The IVC website boasts of letting me stream anything, anytime and anywhere that I love. 
And this isn't just vague marketing chatter, there are dedicated streaming spots in the apps that are designed to unblock Netflix and many other streaming platforms. To try this, I launched the Windows client, selected the streaming mode and Netflix channel, and watched the client connect. The customer then asked if I wanted to watch Netflix in the US, and if I clicked yes, it opened the default browser on the Netflix website. All this is very convenient, but it turned out that it doesn't work. Netflix discovered VPN and refused to stream content. Fortunately, the story did not end there. iOSC also provides extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browsers. And like apps, they also support a variety of streaming platforms. I switched from the Windows client to the Chrome extension, selected the US Netflix channel, and this time I was able to view the content. This was good news, and as my trials continued, the situation only got better. I switched back to the client, went to check out BBC iPlayer, Amazon Prime Video, US YouTube, and Disney Plus, and Ivashi entered all four. The ABC support site is always available if you run into problems with a set of installation instructions, troubleshooting guides, and other guides. There is useful content, but not as much detail as I would like. Some of the articles are out of date and may not match the professional articles from major VPN providers. Luckily, the site also has 24-7 live chat support. I got a helpful answer after about a minute when I asked the question, much better than what I've seen from most competitors. Ivacy's email support is slightly slower, which is unsurprising but still acceptable. I usually get helpful answers in about 3 hours the faster response in about 30 minutes. Also better than you will see from many of the more expensive competitors. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.